Shalom, shalom, shalom to the hopefully elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us his truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopefully elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. All right, coming in with another lesson today. Uh, this lesson is going to be uh, entitled um, Going into the End of All Things. All right. And uh, all things, all right, of prophecy of what we have been uh, speaking on. All right, these things are here. And you have many of our people, they... They're just so blinded and they cannot see. All right. Because here it is. This is the Lord. All right. Setting up that table right in the midst of our enemies. All right. The Lord has uh, prepared us. All right. He's still preparing us. But the time is getting to the point to where you're going to have to be ready. All right. Because these things are just going to hit. All right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come quickly. Um, Let me get that right quick. Let me get that right quick. And, um, yeah. All right, let's get that in, um, second as a 16. So, yeah, that. All right, so this is the book of second Ezra, chapter 16, and, hmm. Here it is. This is the book of 2nd Ezra 16 and verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son within two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Even so, Shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. Okay, so when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, unleash all hell upon this earth. Okay, that's when we know, all right, that woman, all right, is uh uh uh, uh, uh is uh delivering that child. All right, this is when. All right, you see, you know, when, when you look at the contractions, you know, they get closer and closer and closer. All right, showing you that what the baby is about to come. Okay, and this is, we're in that time to where we're getting ready to see, all right, all these things, all the prophecies, all these things come to pass. All right, here it is. You see the Israelites, they're waking up, everything. Okay, we're seeing the uh, MOTB. Uh, system, all right, being in place, all right, everything is being moved strategically, all right, but if you don't have the eye salve to see it, all right, you're going to be lost, and you're going to get caught up within it, all right, so let me see if I can get that again, that's in, um, I'm trying to remember the uh, scripture, man, dang, it's like, it escaped me, but let's just go on, go on with the lesson. I don't want to drag it out too long. I'm on my lunch break. Um, this is the book of First Peter, chapter three, and there it is, verse seven. No, no, First Peter's four and verse seven. But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Okay. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, I mean, it was a, a live class, and you know, we was going into prayer. All right. This is the time to be praying more and more. All right, having that open line of communication, all right, with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, because it's the, the times is coming to where it's going to catch these people like a thief in the night. All right, these people don't understand what's going on, but when these things come to pass, this is when they're going to know, all right, that a prophet has been among them because we have told, all right, the people, our people, all right, these things. It's going to be too late in that day. All right. So, but the end of all things is at hand. 
be ye therefore sober. All right, it's a time to be sober. All right, I just did a lesson going into this uh, yesterday. All right, for us to be more focused, have that tunnel vision. All right, focus on this truth because there's a lot of uh, snares and traps that's out here. So let's read on a little bit more. Nah, we don't need to go no more into that. I'll read one more. Well, nah, we we'll finish verse seven again. It says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. All right, so let me get um, another precept out of here. It's the book of Second Ezra 14. And verse 14. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to flee from these times. Depart out of this place spiritually. Depart out of this place spiritually. Okay, because, hey man, you don't want to fall, all right, with the rest of these other people who love this world. Okay, let go of the mortal thoughts. All right, put your treasures in heaven. That's what I was going into in the video the other day, yesterday. So we got to put off that weak nature. It says, for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. This is when... The Lord is getting ready to unleash all these spirits. That's how he's getting ready to bring havoc upon this earth. All right. He's going to use Esau Edom to do, a, all right, the bidding, all right, of his will. All right. And that's the, really to come out of you two thirds. All right. Jacob's trouble. We're getting ready. We in, we in that time right now. Things is just, it's amping, it's amping up more and more. This is the time for us to be more vigilant. All right. To be more sober. And we're supposed to always pray watch unto prayer always all right because this is a time of uncertainty i'll read a little bit more I'll read back in verse 16 it says forget gr greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter for look how much the world should be weaker through age so much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein okay so as we see the earth as it as it ages all right we've seen that the earth is getting weak you can look at the trees you can look at the plants all right the food the air quality hey, esau edom has done this all right pollution in the air he's spraying uh chemtrails all right so as the earth weakens the people weaken Okay, but when it comes to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and his elect, they're going to be well nourished. All right, it says for yet, oh, slop, verse seventeen. For look, yeah, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase. All right, the evils are going to increase. Jacob's trouble. It's going to be like a time like no other. We're getting ready to see things that our minds are not going to be able to fathom. Okay? People starving. People, uh, their, their stomach touching their back. Much bloodshed. People fighting in the streets. People getting shot up in the face, etc. So it's going to be nothing all right, but chaos. And that brings us um let me get that. Let me close out on that. It's almost time for me to go back. Damn, man. It's the book of uh, Isaiah. Mm. Isaiah 19. Because this is what's going on right now. All right, part of prophecy. I'm trying to find a precept. I think it's in Isaiah 19. It's a lot. I'm trying to find it. Mm. Mm, yeah, 
Where is it? Here it is. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 19, and verse 16. It says, In that day shall Egypt be like unto women. All right, this place here, Babylon the Great. All right, you know how women are fragile, emotion, always in emotions. Okay, they need guidance. You know, but this place, it ain't going to have any guidance. It's not going to have anyone to protect her. All right. This great whore. So therefore, this place is going to be likened unto uh, uh, women. Okay. It's going to be ready to be taken, ravished. And that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. Okay, and this is you know going into that 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 burden of Egypt. There's gonna be many different things that's gonna be happening. All right, here in this place. All right, and this place is gonna be a, a, a it's gonna be a terrified uh, place to be. All right, in these last days, man. It says, and it shall be afraid and fear which he shaketh over it with the hand of the Lord, because the Lord's gonna put His hand over over this place. All right, he's going to put, man, it's going to be nothing but just chaos, man. This is why you got to be vigilant. This is why you got to be sober. This is why you gotta, this truth has to be your main focus. All right, because when that day comes, it's going to come like a thief in the night to these people, man. We can read verse 19. It says, in that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. And a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. Right. It's what you see right now with all these camps. Okay. The Lord is 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 set up pillars. He set up men, teachers. All right. He set up the the, the right men. All right. To 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 make these sacrifices. All right. To make uh, uh to to have it to where we're able to speak these prophecies. All right. And to uh, uh fruition. All right. These things are being manifested as we speak these things, and the people, they're still blinded, all right? But they're going to get caught up like a thief in the night. And that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt, and the pillar at the border thereof to the Lord, and it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior and a great one, and he shall deliver them. See, we're entering uh, 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 into that time to where we're getting ready to see the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, here it is. We're crying about all the different abominations that are being done out in, in the earth. And the Lord, he hears our prayers. He sees us. Okay? Here it is. We're doing the weekly shows. All right? Uh, every brother doing their, uh, their own individual uh, videos. The prayers. All right? The, the Lord sees us with camps. All right? He, the Lord does not, uh, uh, he, what the scripture says, uh, he will not forget our uh, works of labor of love. All right? So he's going to send you how Shai to come and redeem us. All right? If we keep uh, fighting and enduring it to the end. All right, I don't want to keep dragging this lesson back out. I gotta gotta go right back in, but um, I'm already late. But but yeah, um, just stay vigilant. All right, stay sober. All right, because the time is at hand to where the Lord is about to unleash all hell upon this earth. All right, especially here in Babylon the Great. All right, which today is America. All right, so a hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Awathim, <coughs> Awathim. All right, I want to give our honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rikakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere and you hopefully elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth, I'm your fellow servant, Malachia. Shalom.